Okay, so you click the thumbnail and you know today is another product review. Watch any of my previous videos, you know I love GoPros and uh, a company named Welp must have checked out my videos, contacted me and asked me if they sent me this chest head strap chest harness kit, would I try it out and review it? Sure. I mean, I don't usually, I've never used them before in my videos, but uh, there's always a first, right? And if you've seen any of my previous videos or you're paying attention to the background, I got the GoPro kit over here, but here's a little secret. I never opened it. Shh. It was a gift, but uh, they never watch my videos, so they'll never know. All right, so the whelp. The head strap chest harness kit. We're gonna give this a shot in a few activities. See what the videos look like, that perspective, try it out, and so on. But we'll start it off with an unboxing. You ever watch those unboxing videos when the influencer or the, or the showman, they take out this unnecessarily switchblade to open it up? It, it's, it's so tacky. <laughs> All right, let's see what these, uh, the quality of these straps look like and, and how they're gonna work out. All right, we'll start with the, uh, the chest strap. Those shirt-like clips. And so there's another one. They didn't skimp on the packaging, that's for sure. All right. Well, the material's nice. It's, um, it feels quality. Clip's good. And, uh... How do these go on? Oh my God. All right. All right. Feels good. I'm all these clips. All right, let's see if it fits over my fat dome. All right, I don't even have to adjust them. They tailor made it for me. Although those have adjustment straps. Okay, let's drop a couple of GoPros to these, try a couple activities and see how they check out. I feel real goofy right now, but that's all right. If it gives us some neat angles and I don't know, gives us a good perspective on the videos, it could be worth it. We're gonna try out, let's, we'll take the nine with us. The eight, I got the 10 on the Volta, and who knows, maybe I'll find the, uh, the cage and take the Osmo action and try it on that as well. But uh, let's take this outdoors and let's try it out. Timber, I don't know the words. So like I said, I think it looks absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Sorry, Will, it looks funny. I mean, there's your chest. Chest one's not so bad, but the, the head one, I'm gonna wear a helmet. I always feel safer wearing it. And with this headpiece, uh, I'm making it work. But anyway, it's less to do with how funny you look and more to do with uh, the shots you're gonna get out of it. So let's, let's see the shots we're gonna get out of it. This is funny, okay. Now this whole hiking bit's gonna be the least favorite. It's it's not very action packed. I mean, if I'm, oh, wait a minute. That was kind of cool. That bird, you might have to get a little closer to that bird. This activity, not very action packed, unless you're doing some kind of parkour or something. But that big old hawk right there. Hey, you. All right, you gotta know when to walk away. 
or run. Let's leave it alone. He's probably scouting his meal. Some field mouse. Okay, so again, this is probably the least interesting of the activities. I do go on a lot of nature walks. I do like it. Unless you're exploring. If I'm going out exploring something, maybe some kind of ruins, that's what you should do. Let's do that. Okay, so now I want a better hike. Instead of just walking through Lincoln Woods, now we're back at the Oakland Ruins Mill hike. Now, I visited here a couple of videos ago when I made uh, the, uh, well, when I did the GoPro Volta review. So I guess it only makes sense doing another GoPro video to come back here, right? Anyway, it's more interesting than just walking through some paths in the woods. So, all right. Let's not get things confused. I am not here to show how great I am at golf. In fact, I am not good. I am not good at all. I haven't golfed since um, 2020, the pandemic year. I didn't golf at all last year, unfortunately. But this year, uh, this is a practice round. I'm just over here at the par three. Some of them are fairly long, they're nice, but I'm just here to have a little bit of fun. And that's the, uh, the goal for today. To see how these mounts, how functional they are. What can you get use out of them? And what kind of activities? What kind of shots do they give you? What kind of, uh, I don't know, information can they give you if you're working on your swing? Okay, so that's it. As I'm going through these video clips, I really think these shots and the angles from these, from these harnesses are pretty cool. Okay, well, this probably goes without saying though, but depending on the activity, the, you know, the point of view isn't gonna work. Like in a lot of the golf shots, the chest mount, it just wasn't giving that, that, that cool look to it. The arms were constantly getting away or it just wouldn't line up with the shot right. Um, but I found it to work really well with the mountain board, mountain biking and the boosted boarding. So uh, the head one really worked out in all the activities. But, uh, but again, it's a two part set so you can decide based off of what activity you're doing, that one will fit best for you what your situation is. I can definitely use this in my future videos to get some different perspectives, I like it. Well, thanks for contacting me, asking me to check these out and review them. I, I really had a good time with them. But that's it, that's all I have for this video. By the way, you can find these products on Amazon for $19.99. I'll put a link below in the comment section or the description section. But uh, that's it, that's all I got for this video. If you want to discuss anything I went over or anything I, that I didn't cover, hit me up below. Let's have a great conversation in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, give me a little thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I'll catch you next time, later.